Motezuma II, Emperor of the Aztec people, commander of the fierce Aztec army, highest of high priests, was moving through his immense palace in the city of Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire. Before him walked one of the four most important Aztec nobles who served the emperor. Dressed in brightly colored cotton clothing, the nobleman's head was encircled by magnificent tropical bird feathers that stuck out of a headdress made of gold. This fancily dressed nobleman led the way through the halls of the palace toward the throne room, passing one of the enormous dining halls and turning down a corridor running between two large libraries. Far behind in the gigantic palace lay hundreds of bedrooms, including the great emperor's, where the bedsheets would be slept upon just once and then thrown away. Behind him, the nobleman heard the steady slapping of the emperor's golden sandals upon the floor and the swishing of leaves as nobles fanned the emperor's body to keep him cool as he walked. They entered the throne room. It was more than half full already with men and women looking down silently, for they knew that the emperor was approaching and no one was allowed to look at the emperor's face. Those who were wearing shoes had already slipped out of them, for they knew they must take them off in Emperor Motezuma's presence. The feathered nobleman stopped as he approached the throne, standing aside and turning his eyes downward as Motezuma walked forward and sat down upon his jeweled throne. Motezuma was a man whose wealth could not even be measured. This means that Motezuma was so rich that it was impossible to figure out exactly how rich he was. In his palace were entire rooms filled with gold and silver and everything from fabulous hand-carved jewelry to masks. Now another of the emperor's noblemen spoke. Oh, speaker, he began. This was the emperor's most important title, for it meant that it was he who was thought to speak to the gods in order to keep them on the side of the Aztec. Today there are lords here from the eastern part of your empire. Lords are owners of land or other property. They come to pay their respects to you, but also to bring more details of the strangers who come from the east. The nobleman brought the lords forward. The emperor said, We have reports of strangers riding upon huge deer. What have you seen with your own eyes, and what have you heard? Now the oldest of the visiting lords, forcing himself not to look upward upon Motezuma's face, told the emperor, I too have seen these men. But now their leader has done something we do not understand. He has ordered his people to burn the wooden ships at sea. They are now camped on the shore with their deer. Motezuma was giving his full attention to the man's words. Then he turned to the snake woman who stood beside his throne. Oddly, the snake woman, the second most important person in the government, was not a woman at all, but a man. The title of snake woman was given to a man in honor of one of the Aztec goddesses, whose importance was second only to the gods of the sun and the rain. The snake woman helped the emperor run the nation. Does the burning of the wooden ships mean that they intend to never leave our lands? The emperor asked the snake woman. The snake woman replied, I do not know, O emperor, but it seems to show that the strangers feel safe enough to cut off their own form of retreat. To retreat from something means to move away from it or leave. Since the visitors are burning their ships, they must be planning to stay and not retreat or leave. The snake woman nodded to the nobleman, who continued, There's other news. These strangers have made friends with the Totonacs, the people of Simpoala, and together with them they are starting in this direction. At this, a worried murmur ran through all those in the throne room, for the Totonacs, the people of Simpoala, were enemies of the Aztec. The lords continued their report, followed by reports on other matters by other servants of Motezuma. 
Afterward, the noblemen with the magnificent feathers once again led the emperor through the halls, this time to his main dining hall. A dining hall is a place where people eat meals. There, Motazuma and hundreds of his nobles sat down to a feast, eating off beautiful plates that were given away after just one use. Later, Motazuma and his chief advisors met together, and the emperor said, Send gold and silver to the leaders of these strangers. Let the nobles who bring these gifts tell the strangers that they are on Aztec land, ruled by Emperor Motazuma, who sends these small tokens of his power and wealth. The emperor wants to show off his riches or his wealth, to assert or prove his power. They will know from these gifts the great wealth and power we wield here, and perhaps they will turn and leave our empire.